Will Nightingale, our captain, moving into a new season? Things are getting really serious now. What, what does the season mean to you, especially with Plough Lane on the horizon? Yeah, obviously with, with Plough Lane coming up, it's, it's everything. Um, it's, it's been a long time coming that and everybody behind the scenes of it, obviously Joe, Ivor, have done incredible to get us to where we are now. I know they've been so busy with it and Eric, their whole focus has been on that and rightly so because it is so important to the club and the fans. So, yeah, this season's massive for us. Um, obviously, we've done so well to retain our status in League One and now we want to kick on and push higher up the league and I know that's what the gaffer wants and he's trying to instil that within us boys as well. So, I'm really looking forward to it. And according to the wall there now, it's 15 years. What does it mean when you look around and see that yeah. and, see, and see all the boys as well? To be fair, it's actually 17 years. So, oh, is it? Yeah, well, since I was eight, just yeah. turned 25 now. So 17 years, yeah. yeah. So I've had a long time at this club. I know a lot of a lot of the faces, obviously you boys I've known over the years and yeah. a lot of the fans I know and that's why it means so much to me because I want to do well for everyone involved with the club. So, yeah. And you've made over 100 appearances in all competitions now for the first team. What's your personal target for season 2021? Um, to be fair, I've kind of always said uh, I've not really not really been happy with like the, the stamp I've left on the club. Yeah. Um, I've not really been happy with the. Obviously, we've, everybody knows we've been towards the lower end of the table most seasons. Um, I think our best season in League One was our first year here, but. Yeah, I've not, I've not really left the stamp that I've wanted to. And, and to be honest, I say it every, every season, but I think now I've got to stop saying things like that and I've got to start making it happen. I've just got to, you know, try and impose myself in this club and actually try and bring a bit of success for this club. That's what I want to do. I don't want to just close through seasons and close through my career. I want to have a successful career. And, yeah, that's why I know this gap will, will be good for us because I know that he wants the same for this club as well. We certainly look good the other night against uh, Charlton Athletic. Um, how's your fitness now and reminds us what your injury was last season? Yeah, so to be fair, I feel really strong now. I feel mm. fit. Um, obviously, I've built up my games and that was my first 90 minutes and my first competitive game in 11 months. Yeah. Um, it was Rochdale at home. Last year was my last game. I think if fans remember, I think we went three up early doors and then they pulled yeah. it back. But Clint's first full game that last was it. year. Yeah, 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 so 11 months ago. Um, yeah. So it's been a long time coming, my return, and uh, I just had a problem with my hip, yeah. um, and I tried to play through it, and I think we may have been short on numbers a little bit, so I think I ended up delaying my yeah. up just in case I was needed. Um, I tried to yeah tried to force myself to train through it, and got to a point where, I've, in the end, I just got it sorted and done. And then I was probably going to return in and around when lockdown happened, um, or just before we, we stopped. Um, yeah. So obviously initially I was, I was over the moon that obviously I had a bit more time to rest, but then as it went on and I felt completely fine, yeah. I was kicking myself, especially when the season finished, because I was hoping to finish the season off with a few games. But yeah. So in the end it finished up with 11 months out, um, but I feel really good now, I feel really fit and strong. Um, yeah, so that's the main thing. Good, and how does it feel with the new players involved in the night? Did they have an extra dimension to the team? Yeah, really, I mean, all, all the new boys have settled in really well, to be fair. Um, I think because we've had quite a few, what is it, is it seven, eight, seven new boys? Seven. I think because we've had a few, it's not really... Yeah. And obviously we've had a few young ones step up as well. It's not really felt like, ah, oh, there's any new ones that stand out. It's kind of like we're all... We're all meeting each other as it is. Um, I think all the new boys have gelled really well. Mm-hmm. And like I said, they've done... They, they perform really well and they have done in all of the pre-season games really. Um, I like Connell behind me, obviously he's a loud voice and yeah. I, I want to try and get a bit of a good relationship with him on the pitch. Um, so, But yeah, all the, all the new boys have done well. Obviously um, Ethan looked sharp, Ryan got a few shots off where he could have possibly scored yeah. but their keeper done well. Um, yeah. yeah, all the new boys done well. And the Crow got off to a flying start, what can that do for him? His teammates yeah, were really buzzing for them. Yeah, confidence is massive really. Um, I've never seen someone so happy when he scored to be fair, but <laughs> yeah, yeah no, fair play to him. Um, it was a good finish in the end. If you see it on the replay, obviously it was yeah. harder than at the time. I thought I'd uh, score all day long, yeah. but it was actually harder finish than, than you think when you look at it back. So yeah, that hopefully now he can kick on. Because I know he scored a few for our 23s. Yeah. Scored quite a few goals there, um, so hopefully that will give him the confidence now to show that he can do it. Because Charlton's a big club, really, so yeah. if you can do it there, you should be able to p- produce it every every game, every week. Haven't been through quite a few pre seasons in the first team now. You you seem to be really impressed with the you, the way you've been prepared for this campaign. Yeah, massively. I think it's probably the most professional since I've been here. It's felt the most professional. Um, yeah. 
in terms of everything. I know the gaffers wanted to look yeah. at every single area, whether it, whether it be the food, whether it be the training, yeah. whether it be on a match day what we do, but every single area is tried to improve and yeah. those little percentages can make the difference between obviously getting a result, getting a point and not and that's what he wants to do. He wants to look at every single department he can and improve on it as much as he can. So yeah, things have looked really professional. And we can take that feel good factor from Tuesday into what is a tough game at Oxford on Saturday. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, everybody that's here wants to win. Everybody wants to win games. So the fact we got that win, and it, in my eyes, I think it could have been maybe a couple more goals, but it was so important we got that win, get off to a good start, and now kick on from that. Yeah. But it shouldn't matter who you play. You should want to win. Yeah. Obviously, you have to manage games differently depending on who you play, but you should want to win every game in yeah. football. Um, so Oxford, again, will be another tough test, especially at their place. Yeah. Um, so, But I'm looking forward to it. Bring it on. Whoever we play, bring it on. Um, although the fans wasn't allowed to go the other night, we've seen a lot of positive feedback on social media. Obviously, what's your thoughts for them at this time? That you're really doing it for them, aren't you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, it's, it's got to be frustrating for fans. Mm. Um, I mean, it's, it's annoying for us. Like, obviously, we want the fans there. We want them there behind us and with us because it's it's a club. It's, we want it all in as a club. To be yeah. fair, um, so. Yeah, I know they've obviously been following the games through I follow and we, we still appreciate all of their support. I mean, I just wish it was in person, but hopefully hopefully sooner rather than later and then they can start getting behind the set of games as well, hopefully. OK, well, thanks for joining us and good luck on Saturday. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, guys.